Today we're here uh, to have a conversation around sustainability with special guests from the executive teams of Zinfra, Gemini and Prismian. Sustainability, what a journey. So, um, we really take it as a uh, way forward um, in Prismian. We are fueled by um, sustainability goals that I can say we are clustering them in two ambitions mainly. One is the climate change ambition through decarbonization uh, economy. And the second one is the social ambition, which we put a strong commitment, which include diversity, equality, and inclusion. Our goal is to decarbonize our own processes, which we can name them scope one and two, by 2035. And also decarbonization of the whole supply chain, which we call it scope three by 2050. We launched uh, Eco Cable in Australia. We started off in the, the construction industry, in the, in the building wire sector, and uh, the plan is uh, now to expand it uh, into uh, our power distribution utility space as well, on the back of this whole circular economy. Scope 3 is probably the hardest type of emission to measure. There's no standards in, in the world to, to really measure it. Yet that's probably the most, most emissions from the world probably come from Scope 3 emissions. Does Gemini have any specific plans in future, I guess, to target these types of emissions? We've identified a lot of our one, scope one and two emissions. It's okay. now scope three. Our focus is starting to turn to scope three. We can't understand our scope three unless we have good, strong relationships with our suppliers to help us identify and bring those through and measure them. I think the biggest challenge with scope three is how we measure mm. it. In the first instance, it has to be a whole of industry, a whole of country effort to achieve the outcomes that we need to achieve. So it's not siloed to a specific utility, it is a whole of industry. And when I say a whole of industry, it's not just the utilities per se, it's a partnership with or an alliance with suppliers, you know, manufacturers, service providers and the utilities per se. So it's a collective effort. So if there's no collaboration, the idea of achieving the outcomes that we want to achieve as an industry and as the individual unit will never eventuate. We need to really work together to arrive point B uh, because we are not alone able to go there, right? So it, maybe this, this is new and nobody is behind on the sustainable journey. Some people think that ah, the things are going on and I made a little behind. In reality, the future is more promising than what has happened already in the past. It is never an easy journey, but uh, we like challenges, no? So the, uh, but the challenges are lighter when we, when we come together and work together. And let's not forget, if everybody is doing that way, scope free will go in a parabolic way down because it's a supply chain uh, decarbonization.